And we're back with another episode of Final Fantasy Cross Chronicles. Now what we need to do here in order to uh, actually progress here is uh, what we need to do is we need to get these two things and we need to get hit by the proper element and you, you wake up as well. You, I'm going to kill you first and then I'm going to get hit by that idiot on plateau or on this platform actually. You, hit me. I want you to hit me. No, we're not playing, um, I don't know, blackjack or whatever. I don't play card games. Except for children's card games. No, I don't even play children's card games. I do play that sometimes with, uh, with some friends, but they kick my ass, so... Um, I do not know that children's card game. I haven't played it in a long while. And I don't really care to learn, so... Whatever, um, that's not what I really want to talk about. Uh, what I actually want to talk about is that actually if you're um, doing things correctly, we're almost actually done because this uh, area that we're going in here, into here is actually, you know, brings us back to the previous area and that will bring us also back um, to where we actually want to go and that is on top of the pyramid or whatever it is. I, c I will call the pyramid, which is the entryway um, towards the boss. On top of the pyramid is a, a, a button, which we need to 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 press in order to you know to get into the boss. Now let's first take down this nightmare over here. Yes, a nightmare. It's very original, very originally named. And there it died. So let's fuse again. It's a split personality. No, it's not. <laughs> I mean, I need to cast uh, gravity. Yes, there it is. Thunder, gravity. I have to scroll through this. Oh my god. It gives me super strength. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is the other side of um, everything. And apparently I cannot hit that thing on the staircase. So I cannot hit it from an angle. It's not supposed to go on an angle, apparently. As taught by George Jepson. Okay, now we open this. Now we can access uh, this area for an easy way back. And I'm just going to sh check if I'm actually back to where I want to be. And yes, I am. So, um, I'm going to go a little bit back and actually go where I actually need to go. And there's two here and up this uh, little pathway here. Yes, you can actually go up here. I didn't know. I thought it was part of the background. They don't really make it quite clear that you can go there, so um, that's like I said uh, with uh, with Mount Kilanda. You can't, you cannot always tell where you can walk and where you can't. Sometimes you know you have to figure it out for yourself. Yeah, in in Mount Kilanda, I d had difficulties, you know, telling where I needed to go or where I could and couldn't walk. So this is uh, another enemy, another ghost I believe they're called. They can cause blizzard as you can see. But uh, yeah, we're almost done. We're going to beat the boss in this episode. And up here on this, um, you know, temple, there's a button and it opens the door. Opens the door. Yes, it does. And we can go there, so as you can see, what we need to do here is just, um, we can, you know, uh, I believe cast holy on this, and then, yep, cast holy, and attack, oh, I didn't need to attack it, apparently if I cast holy was enough. I mean, you, you know, like, you, they learned me through this entire thing that you need to, you know, first hit the, the stone with the correct element, and then attack it again in order to destroy it. And now all of a sudden, you know, they had one which, you know, which, where you cast holy and it immediately disappears. So what do you want, game? What do you want from me? I can't figure out what you want. Game? Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, I do, I do know what the game wants, but it's going to be difficult. Like, the next boss is going to be difficult. 
And why is the ne next boss going to be difficult? Well, you will see once I get there. So let's just um, finish these last enemies and then get back to where we want to go, which is towards the boss. Yes. So yeah, that's uh, the reason actually why I hate this um, this this area is because of the Moogle House, and I will show you it uh, because there's some areas you know you cannot progress unless you have you know um, two players, which I I think it's it sucks you know having a, an area you need to to have you need to have two players for in the RC. There's the stairs towards the boss. What's here? Apparently there's nothing here. Okay, the wind is blowing my door. Which you probably won't hear, and I'm sitting a bit close to my mic. So I um, hope that isn't too loud. Actually in the previous recording I was still sitting too close to my mic. So I'm like, I'm already farther away, game, what or mic. What do you want from me, mic? I already made that joke twice now, so I do not know, apparently. I've run out of things to say now. Um, we're just going to wait, make our way towards the boss. Every yes, I know you're tired. I don't really care at this moment, uh, Mark. I want to say Kupo because I think your name is Kupo. I think I actually named you Kupo at, at one point in the let's play, but your name is Mark. But whatever. I'm going to call you Kupo because that's what you say. Because that's what you, you moves say. Yes, Mark is your name. Mark can cast spells. And I can cast spells. But can we sp a few spells together? Yes, oh yeah, that's one thing. Yeah, Mark can cast spells depending on what color you give him. But trying to fuse with with um, with him is impossible. I also tried to get him to hit the, the stone. I wasn't... I, I, you needed to play as far, but it, he did not want to do it. He didn't want to cooperate with me. We're going down into the depths. Into the depths of hell. Below in the temple. The guardian waits. Souls rise unto me. Uh oh. It's a ghost! I'm afraid! What do you call Ghostbusters? What is he doing? Wait. What are you doing? Oh, you're creating a force field now, are you? You're protected by the force field. And there is a, probably a reference in there somewhere, but it's too late to come up with any references at this point. So, what we need to do for this boss? Yes, we need to destroy the force field. Now, what you do in order to create, destroy the force field is uh, hit these things with the correct element. You do, not, you do not need to destroy them because you cannot destroy them. Because they're going to be a part of the... Uh, of this level, of this boss fight. Yes, they are. And what you need to do on this stone is cause blizzard. And I, I, I think we need to hit it again. And then... Uh, or maybe attack it, but... We don't, you, you just don't, you know? We do not need to attack it. I'm going to try another element right here. I believe, at least, I'm going to try another element. I'm going to cast gravity on it. See if that works. But I don't think it works. Nope, didn't work. Apparently I haven't figured out that I just needed to cause Blizzard one, but apparently um, I figured that out now, but you know. He still has the force field, and this one, actually, conveniently, we have to just cast Blizzard on it. And now you can go and defeat this enemy. Now what you need to do, of course, is split, go towards the lifestone, and create holy for yourself. And I don't know, still know, know why this video is still glitching. Because I did render it beforehand. I rendered everything correctly. And still it's glitching. 
I mean, what else do you expect me to do? And actually, doing physical attacks, as you can see, it doesn't do a whole lot more. What you probably will do end up doing is just cast holy all the time. And he cast off his force field again, which he can, of course, do. He can just re-equip his force field. Oh my god, the force field is amazing! How many times can I say force field? And yeah, he casts meteor, as you can see. He casts, he casts meteor, he casts uh, fire, he casts gravity, which we all also have seen. Um, he casts blizzard, I actually, I think, and um, which he will cast once I actually get him in a in a loop. And apparently, I want to equip the life. The cure stone instead of the life stone or the tumble stone. We need gravity, not a uh, holy vision. We need gravity, yes. So yeah, I was just uh, lucky with um, with the guess that we need a blizzard on another stone. It could have been any other element, and uh, it could have been thunder. It could have been fire. It could have been holy. It could have been gravity, yeah, that's gravity over there, what he calls right there. Um, I believe I'm just going to attack him and attack his minion, which is a Skeletor, a skeleton. And I missed. Oh no, I missed! How can I miss? Yeah, the skeleton's dead. Yeah, stop casting gravity, man. I'm going to kill you now. Or slowly kill you. You cast up your shield! You fucking idiot. You cast up your shield. I was about to kill you. Then you cast up your shield. Yeah, that's... Uh, Tondera, I believe. Or either Tondera or Tondaga. Either of the two. Yeah, that's... The oh no, that's what he will cast from now on. And once you get him low enough, he will start casting that. Yep. Which uh, you will see as soon as I get him again. And get his minion again. And then we can slowly, but surely... And that was Meteor. Yes, Meteor. Yeah, there is a spell in this. I don't know how to fuse it. I, will, I, I don't think you can fuse it. But there is a way we'll get Meteor. Eventually. Spoiler. No. Insert spoiler here. Yes, yes. No, not the cure stone, the life stone, you idiot. Cost holy. Holy. This is a holy let's play. Holy mother of I don't know. One holy mother I don't know, Jesus, I think. Or God. Or, or myself, or, or the son of a bitch, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Do you? No. Yes, as you can see, he now casts uh, Tom, Tom da, de, Tondera or Tondaga, whatever he calls. I believe it's, uh, it's the second fusion spell, not the third fusion spell. Because the third fusion spell would actually, uh, I think, paralyze me. Could be the third fusion spell actually, because the first boss already uses the first uh, fusion spell, so it could be, you know, um, the third one. Yeah, no. Um, if you think friendly fire exists for the enemies, you're mistaken. At least not for most enemies, or at least not for bosses. Actually, there was a boss, I believe, which had friendly fire on, but I don't remember which it was actually. Which ended up destroying his own minions. Which one was that again? I don't remember. I think it was the actually the previous boss that I did. That I did. The, the Iron Giant, I believe. That's that's the one actually that did, does friendly fire. But then, uh, other than that, no, no, no uh, enemies do friendly fire. So yeah. Anyways, we're almost done with her. Come on, Lich, 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 or whatever. How do you pronounce her name? 
Lick or Lish? Yes, this is a female, by the way, if you want to know. This is a girl, we beaten her. Oh no, I'm dying, I'm dying! But you're already dead. Oh, someone called in Luigi with his, with his Poltergaster, I believe. Or the Poltergast 3000, yes, the Poltergast 3000. She was sucked in by the dimensional gate. Now she can bother Luigi in Luigi's Mansion 2. Dark Moon, no. Just kidding. <laughs> Nintendo don't doesn't make crossovers with with uh, Square Remix anymore. That doesn't happen. I think, at least. Let's get a last drop of Mur. Mur. Yes, one of our last drops of mirror actually. If you were um, just continuously playing this game, um, this is one, the the second second to last drop of mirror that you will collect. Uh, the last drop of mirror is of course in the Lunari Desert, which is actually the next area that we're going through after um, in a probably in the next episode or something. Actually, the next episode will be uh, the bonus video where I will get the two remaining uh, Moogle houses. Of course, I won't get the Moogle house of um, of this area because then it means I have to replay this area or restart. But I have recorded it, so um, that is a thing that will happen that I will show you. I heard that striped apples from the farm are much better than the ones on the market. If I recall correctly, star crabs and guard potatoes were their specialties. I'll try them. Send uh, an item. Re really? Uh, at this point, you should have already um, gotten lettuce from the nom. I I'm, I don't know why I don't get lettuce from the nom. You should have got or gotten some already. At least one or two at this point. Usually I just blow off my family. Oh, sorry, I bumped my, um, I bumped, uh, bumped something, my mic, yes. Defeat enemies with spell. Well, I've done plenty of that. 123, 1, 2, 3, that's a convenient number. I, as you can see, I only got, you know, 3, I don't have the last 3 because it's in the last area which you can only get with. Uh, two people. And I gained another heart, yes. I got the star pendant. And everything that you've done, you will get another cutscene, but everything you've done you can also read in the diary. And this one you can also read in the diary or, or you could just pause the video to read it. I'm not going to read them anymore. Uh, simply because, you know, it's getting irrelevant at this point if you want me to read him I will probably read him if you real if on request but other than that um, I'm just going to skip them and we can get some items yay and why do you want items just to sell you know I'm going to sell you know most of my food anyway yay and besides I make my family happy so I can you know, get the rewards from my family. I'm afraid we're out of carrots, okay? Oh, rainbow grapes, okay. Because I, uh, rainbow seed, yes, and uh, milk? Okay, from milk, from a cow, I think. Oh, we don't even have a cow, okay, my bag is full. Um, we're out of milk, I'm afraid. Um, actually, I may want to around, just talk to people, and I got also, if you talk to your father, you get some money. But I cut everything out. You grow more self-assured with every passing year. I had my doubts at first, but I know now we can count on you. Shall I tell you more of our runaway scholar? Last time we, he and his warrior all alley across the sea to Lenar. All clues pointing towards the Lenar desert as home to the ruling element. This letter contains such mystery verses as these. 
What could he have sought in these lands beyond the sea? You should, should your quest ever lead you there, may your memories of Tipa never become buried in the sand. And as you can see, he's actually talking about Gerdy, which uh, is the one that actually gave us our um, those poems. And we also know from Roland that Gerdy and the Black Knight traveled together in order in order to search a way to get, um, you know, to in order to search for something. I don't know what, but I almost. Gave away a spoiler, but I think the one person that's watching this doesn't care about the spoiler, but I'm not going to reveal the spoiler. Why you stop eating my memories? Who are you looking at? Or what are you looking at? Ty. Wait, come back! Oh, a caravan? Don't look at me like that. I, wa I still won't give up. In the end I saw light, and then all was dark. I cannot remember what I loved, or what I hated. I can remember nothing at all. But someday I will claim my memories from that light. So don't look at me that way. It isn't over yet. It isn't over yet. I'm not completely hollow. And that was the Black Knight. Black Knight of Fire Emblem! Oh, not in that cutscene. After this cutscene, I will end the episode almost immediately, by the way. This truly is an amazing device. Device, simply fascinating! Yes, it's quite amazing, isn't it? And it's priced 10,000 gil? That's right, this world model can be yours for mere 10,000 gil. Hmm, it seems our current funds come up a little short. Of course, the world is a living thing, you know. Leave it for too long and it will go bad. Go bad, you say? That's right, if we had no crystals, Miasma would consume us all, correct? This revolutionary answer makes it possible to test that scenario. I see, I'm now more interested than ever. Then I must ask you to decide quickly. There are a great many others who would like to purchase it. Oh, that's too bad, I do wish I could have it. Tell me, how much do you have now? About 5,000 gills, why? Oh, very well, you are my favorite professor after all. It will be yours for 5,000 gills. I don't think we've met before, but I will gladly take it for 5,000 gil. You made quite a deal today, Professor. Oh my, it's rude to eavesdrop, you know. They say not to judge a book by its cover, but you're as readable as they come. I don't want to talk. What an unexpected thing to say. Dangerous types tend to flaunt it. Thing of a poisonous plant that shows off distinctive colors. Well, look at me. Everything about me is a warning. You, on the other hand, are dressed quite normally. Truly dangerous never reveal themselves. The most inacious facade often conceals the most vicious enemy. At any rate, you should do well to hear my poem. Lonely mushroom burst to flame in the land that's quicksand's claim. That is all. One other, another poem, another verse. Hmm, where did I, with a thought, where did I learn that one? Well, anyway, we mustn't agonize over the meaning of each and every thing. And I will end off the episode now. Um, I will. I hope you enjoyed this. I leave a, co a comment, leave a like, um, whatever. I will hope to see you again in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.